I grew up playing in my great aunt's garden. They lived through the depression. They didn't throw anything away. They made things out of seashells, metal, and glass until their gardens were magical. So I grew up being influenced by that. I'm a local artist. I make wind chimes, sun catchers, and garden art. I used to make jewelry. So I kind of developed a garden jewelry, is what I call it. I trained horses pretty much all my life. Training horses put me through college, which I have a bachelor's degree in art paid for by horses. So when I graduated from college, the horses were making me the income, so I stuck with that. And it was only till about 10 years ago that I started getting into my artwork full time. I was born and raised here, I'm third generation. My aunts were artists. They had a photography studio down by the Fox Theater. Took many family portraits. People wanted them in color. They would oil paint them. My great uncle was a Western artist, Pete Martinez. He had friends like Wayhurst and Ted DeGracia. I had an uncle that worked for the phone company, and whenever he would come down the road, we'd run up, Uncle Jack, can we get some wire? And so he would give us telephone wire and occasionally we get pipe cleaners. We would make horses out of wire. So I've been making wire horses since I can remember. This wind chime has the old rusty bits. The beads are handmade in Ghana, Africa out of recycled bottles. This piece in the background is actually an old step off of an antique buggy. It's got chains on it. It's got the bottom of a halter and rusty bells. So it's all rust and glass, and it has a nice sound to it. So, and this is the other style that I do. It's more sparkly with the crystals and the brass. I like to try new things. When I was going to these yard sales and estate sales, I would find vintage concrete animals. If I could get them, cheap enough, I could spend the time and repaint them and resell them. And it worked out really good. So whenever I find those at, a, at the sales, I'll, I'll purchase them. When I get a kind of a block with my wire sculptures or with my wind chimes, then I'll switch to painting and that'll kind of refresh me a little bit. I was disappointed with wind chimes I bought because they were on fishing line or string and so they would fall apart in the sun. So I started making them with metal and chain and memory wire. People really like that I repurpose things. I buy things that may be discarded and I turn it into art. This piece is actually the lid to a chick feeder that I found in a dump 
from the 1930s up in the mountains. And so that implies chickens. And it's got the, the pony shoe, the cow, the horse, pig, it's got the cowboy, and he works as long as the sun's up. And it's got a cowbell at the bottom, and it's got the whole farm going on. And people started liking them, and so I started selling them, and it kind of evolved into this business that I do at St. Philip's Plaza. And I also really love the camaraderie over there and the family relationships that you gain with all the different vendors. It's just been a wonderful time over there.